Hey, how's it going? Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over pandas pipe. Uh, pipe is a function that allows us to uh, basically uh, we, it allows us to uh, do these macro functions, mac macro transformations on data frames, and we can uh, string multiple functions, uh, these macro functions, in a row. And um, so that way we could just do a bunch of transformations all in one line of code. Super simple. I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial. So you can import pandas pd. And uh, we're going to create a sample data set. Uh, so this, let's see, making sure that I'm recording here. OK. This uh, data set uh, is basically going to be a simple one where we're going to have a name, we're going to have Alice, and we're going to have an age, which is going to be 21. And then we're going to have, uh, let's add something else. Let's say uh, da -da 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 -da, gender is female. And then let's say, you know, let's make this all lowercase here because I'm gonna we're gonna be doing some uppercase transformation here. And let's see, what what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? Let's say we um, number of jobs. We're gonna say two. And let's create another one. We're just going to do two rows here. Increase the size of that. And let's move this to the next line here. So we're going to say Bob. We're going to say uh, he is 22. He is male, and then he has one job. Okay, so typically there's like, let's say, or I'm gonna show you the traditional way of how we would uh, transform this data, and then I'm gonna show you the uh, way to do it with pipes, so that way you understand um, why pipe is a better, could be a better way of doing things. Uh, so let's say that we wanted to make, um, we wanted to have an uppercase transformer. Uh, so let's say we call this um, uppercase transformer. Then we're gonna put in values here. Say values. We're gonna say results equals that. We say for result or for value in values results dot append. We're gonna say uh, da, 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 da. let's do value dot upper just like that. Then we're gonna say return the results. Then for this next one, let's say that we have a, a stringify function. So like, let's say for some reason, or no, 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 not stringify. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make turn all these into in, uh, to strings here. So now we can have a, a function called, um, int transformer. So what this is going to do is it's going to convert these string numbers to integers. So I'm going to say results dot append int value return results. Okay, so 
we have these two transformers here. Now, like, let's say we wanted to transform this data. Let's first turn this, let's create a pandas data frame out of it. So we're going to say pd.dataframe.from records. And then we're going to say data set. So we're going to convert the name column. We're going to make that uppercase. So we're going to say uppercase transformer. Then we're going to say df name. The next one is going to be uh, df gender equals uppercase transformer df gender. Next one would be uh, da, 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 da. let's do age equals int transformer. We say df age. Then we say df number of jobs equals int transformer df number of jobs. So what we're going to do is we're going to import time here and we're going to calculate the time difference uh, between uh, let's say start time is equal to time dot time and then end time equals time dot time. And then we're going to say uh, diff is equal to end time minus the start time. And we're going to say print uh, operate. We're going to first print the data frame. Then we're going to print the the uh, process took. seconds maybe okay let's run this um, let's make sure we have some dependencies installed so we're going to import pandas that's all we need so we're going to run pandas um, pandas pipe so about 0 0.0007 seconds. Pretty cool. So what that did was it converted, it basically did these operations here. It converted these to uppercase, and then it took the age, converted it to integer, and did the same thing with the gender number of jobs uh, columns. But let's say we wanted to do this a different way. What if we said, Instead of these transformers here, we have a DEF that we're going to do upper case pipe, and we're going to pass in the DF and the data frame and then the columns. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say uh, da, 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 da. Uh, for call and columns. Then we're going to do this. Uh, results is equal to this. And then we're going to say this. Uh, for value in df call, we're going to say result is equal to value dot upper. We're going to say results dot append. Then we're going to say result. Then we're going to say df call is equal to results. Then we're going to return the data frame. Now we're going to have an int pipe, which is going to be columns here. And we're going to do the same thing. For column in columns, results is equal to list. Then we're going to say for value in 
data frame call result is equal to stu value dot uh, int value Let's say results dot end result and we say df call is equal to results and we say return the data frame. Okay, so this is so this process took what point zero 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 eight seconds. Now uh, let's actually comment these out. So this is about four lines of code. Now the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do this. Data frame is equal to df dot pipe. And then we're gonna pass in the function. So the function is gonna be what? The uppercase pipe. Then the columns, we're gonna pass in the name and the gender. Now we're gonna pipe it again, and we're gonna say int pipe. And then we wanna do this, age, number of jobs. So we're not going to print out this data frame anymore. Or actually, we will. Why not? And okay, so this process took 0 0.0005 seconds. So we all we did this all in one line of code. We did the same exact thing as we did in these four different lines. But as you can see, this process is more efficient. Uh, it gets it done in about 0 0.0002 seconds, which doesn't seem like a lot in this case, but in the case that you're, you're transforming a mass amount of data, then this will be uh, a very significant difference and will uh, make, uh, basically make your, uh, your system way more efficient and uh, less expensive so uh, that wraps up for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful if you guys want to subscribe to more of this uh, this content uh, click the subscribe button below and uh, like this video leave a comment and i will see you guys in the next video all right see ya